Uh, thank you all for taking the time to join us here on another BFC Green Talk. Uh, obviously, this one is the YouTube guide for musicians. Um, I'm personally excited about this. Uh, while my musician days are behind me a little bit, I love music. I, I have a strong passion for listening to all different types of music. Uh, as the Greeks say, uh, or used to say, uh, music has the power to move the soul, and I certainly believe that's true. Um, I use YouTube myself and I'm excited to find new ways to, to learn uh, how to enhance my music, my musical listening, as well as to learn some stuff about music on YouTube from Andre um, from this presentation. I hope you're all as excited as I am. Um, I can hardly contain myself. As you can see, I'm sort of rambling on a little bit, but I'm just going to uh, pass it over to Andre, um, who's going to take us through a little bit of a guide for how to use YouTube uh, for your musical pleasures, to learn stuff, uh, do equipment, and everything like that. Hello, everyone. Uh, today I am going to tell you how such popular, popular service as YouTube could help you if you are interested in improving your skills as a musician or even if you want to learn uh, to play an instrument in general. Uh, so, it's not a secret that many viewers surf YouTube for music lessons, but we have to understand that if you dream about professional music career, you have to use more traditional approach. Uh, nevertheless, uh, internet could help many people, and uh, in this case I mean not only beginners. Uh, as for my experience, I could say that YouTube and many other online services would be really useful even for people who have been playing music uh, for many years. And today I will tell you about some specific YouTube opportunities for musicians. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, look at the list of all YouTube benefits or Opportunities for musicians, I guess it's not a full list, but we're going uh, to focus on these points today. So, as you see, uh, YouTube could provide free music lessons, uh, some tutorials, I mean how to play songs, uh, some tips and tricks about choosing instruments and some other musical devices. Uh, so, obvious options like um, live videos from musicians and of course many people not even not only video bloggers but a lot of music bands consider YouTube as an extra extra uh, stream of income and uh, free and necessary promotion for their bands and of course and I guess um, the last option is used by a lot of people it means that YouTube is like an ocean of <laughs> uh, new uh, music. So, uh, the first option means free music lessons. Uh, there are no difficulties in search. Uh, just use such phrases as, um, as, for example, guitar lessons, piano lessons, bass lessons, and so on. Uh, when you speak about beginners, it could be a little bit difficult uh, to choose the most appropriate lessons. In this case, I could propose uh, to consider the following factors. Uh, the number of views, the number of likes, and the feedback from other users. And of course, uh, selected lessons should be clear for you. As for me, as for me uh, I have been using about seven or ten YouTube channels uh, for many years and uh, I'm really satisfied with the quality of these lessons. Uh, moreover, I could say that about 50% of my bass guitar playing technique is a result of YouTube videos. And in this, in this slide you could see <laughs> something like the main recommendation uh, from me about using such thing. Uh, so the next thing is uh, some tutorials on how to play some songs, and this thing could be considered 
as the same like music lessons. Uh, of course, this option includes some pluses and some minuses. Uh, but the main thing which you should, should remember is uh, that it's not a good idea to use it uh, every day. You have to develop your musical ear. That's why you shouldn't be lazy to find necessary notes by your ears. At the same time, the tutorials could be extremely useful when you choose a really difficult song for playing at your level. Uh, so, if you are searching for such tutorials, just use uh, such phrases as, for example, uh, Beatles, Michel, guitar cover, or something like this. It depends on your instrument. Uh, the next thing which is uh, worth to discuss is uh, tips and tricks on how to choose instruments and uh, other musical equipment. So all pros and cons you can see in the slide. Uh, actually, I have used this uh, option only for some um, bass guitar pedals, just because it's faster than reading traditional printed guides. Uh, the main conclusion uh, could be the following. Whatever you see about instruments and uh, other equipment, it's better to have an opportunity to check, uh, to taste particular guitar or piano or something else. Just because it's not a domestic appliance and uh, it's better to taste it by your hands. Uh, so, uh, live videos permit us to see how our favorite musicians, and not only favorite, play uh, what they use, what is the style of their behavior on a stage, and so on. In some cases, it's uh, better to see how they play uh, in studios. For example, uh, you could see in the screenshot from uh, Radiohead live from one of one of studios and you could find two videos how Radiohead plays uh, their mm, two last albums. Uh, and it's obvious uh, we could consider YouTube as an additional income and free promotion for uh, musicians and uh, bands. So we see the main options on this issue and we uh, should remember that everyone who would like to show his music uh, should have YouTube videos. It's like, uh, I guess it's like a rule for uh, today. And uh, I guess we could focus on all these as aspects uh, later, maybe in some future presentations because uh, all these options have to be discovered in full volume and uh, I guess not in this presentation. Uh, at last, as I said earlier, YouTube is uh, an amazing source of uh, new music which you could listen to in a legal way. And uh, I guess no classical music channels, TV music channels like MTV and so on, could be better and could be comparable, at least for today. Uh, so finally, I would like to know just one interesting thing. When you see someone who plays better than you, it's uh, extremely serious motivation. To be honest, uh, I have learned some bass guitar melodies and the riffs just because of this fact. And uh, I guess it's really great when you have something which makes you develop your skills. Uh, so um, <laughs> that's all for today. And uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Uh, I will be glad to answer any question. Uh, you may have, and uh, I will send the best examples of uh, 
new music uh, lessons, tutorials, and uh, some uh, equipment review in our chat. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for that uh, information, Andre. Um, I'm curious about one thing, and, and this is more for the people that are watching uh, your presentation than for you, but uh, does anybody else out there currently play an instrument or is thinking about learning a, a musical instrument? I know for, for me myself, I used to play trombone uh, when I was growing up in, in school and at the university, and now I'm interested in expanding my music to uh, learning bass guitar. Um, but I'm curious if anybody else has a, any musical background or even uh, sung in a, in a choir or something like that. Uh, yes, I can <laughs> I can say if you would. Just I was playing piano till I was like fourteen, fifteen, and then I stopped. And uh, and now I'm trying to start again. And uh, I mean, it's, I would like to know: Do you have some recommendation for this type of situation where you just stop and you you want to restart without right tricks and methods? I don't know. Uh, yes, in this case, I could add, and this is from my personal experience that uh, YouTube uh, provides a good opportunity to refresh all your knowledge and maybe to know something more, uh, especially after some musical schools, for example, if we speak about our childhood. <laughs> Andre, at first, thank you so much that you have really, you did it, yes? You did today the presentation and uh, really it was extremely interesting and usable. It's again one step motivation that we can, and I hope also you, you are, you're going to play again piano. I'm always motivated to play <laughs> everyday piano if it's possible, but, uh, and uh, it's really, I, I think it's amazing if we have some um, ideas or something power to play some instruments and it's, it can make us really happy. And I would like also to introduce um, to you all Melanie Mering. She is my piano teacher. So, and I invited her also today to this, uh, so, uh, conversation uh, because uh, Usually, Melanie, we do like internal with the people uh, from different countries, from uh, Moldova, Georgia, France, uh, America, like, and we are all working in uh, computers and bureaus, and we, everyone from us really dreaming about something, oh, how we can integrate in our professional life some something music, yes, music lesson. And we did experiments with Melanie. Melanie is from Hamburg, from Germany, and we... Uh, also, we tried, I, I can not know, we had, I had, I believe, five lessons, yes, Melanie, from you, and uh, it's amazing, because she said, maybe it will be not possible to do it via Skype, like something backstop and console, and uh, yes, we did it, and let's see, maybe um, just, uh, it will be like, a little bit like, even if it's once a month, yes, it's even, I, I would say to everyone who is this call, just motivate everyone from you, as Andre also said, Something to continue to something to connect to some people who is professional musician. Melanie is professional musician, uh, and maybe we can learn from you. And also, it's uh, very interesting, Melanie, maybe to get your feedback and opinion, uh, like advices to all of us. What what you would recommend? If you can uh, just unlock your microphone, we can hear you because at the moment we can, you can hear us, but we cannot hear you. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, now, <laughs> if you yeah. speak, we will hear you. Yes, here I am. <laughs> maybe your, your feeling uh, about, like, your advice, so maybe uh, to everybody, everyone at this school, and mm -hmm. as a professional teacher and with long, long experience, years of experience. Yes, uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very silent because it's, um, uh, this is usually not my medium, and uh, Marina, was the first one who always pushed me into, I want to have lessons from you, and we do it with Skype and so forth. And um, I did it, and uh, the most important thing for me is to see or hear what people are doing live. 
So I think YouTube is, you make, uh, I saw some of the YouTube uh, tutorials and they are very good, but the teacher never knows what the student is doing. So I prefer Skype and um, I bought some, you know, some uh, alphabet letters some uh, to, to put them on the keys. You know, the camera is on, uh, on the keys from the keyboard. And Marina, I see Marina uh, also on the keyboard, and I see what she's doing, and I can hear what she's doing live, and I can uh, always tell her do that, so change it like this, so and so forth. So when somebody uh, comes, uh, like I've heard, just I just heard somebody who said, um, I think it was Etienne, who stopped playing piano and wanted to start again. I would, uh, I would prefer, if, if I was your teacher, I would prefer to do this via Skype. Not, uh, not send you a tutorial and uh, leave you alone with whatever you do with it. So it's better to, to just to, to conversate, I think. This is my opinion now. <laughs> you know, I never did, uh, I never did a YouTube video uh, in the matter of lessons. Uh, to be honest, uh, I absolutely okay. agree. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to be honest, I absolutely agree with this opinion. Uh, but uh, and of course, uh, for example, I can't imagine um, real music lessons, especially for beginning without yep. teachers. I guess that uh, in this case, some music online services could be useful uh, if we speak about. Uh, people with the, with, the, with the experience. If we do not discuss some basic moments about mm -hmm. hands, about sound, and so yeah. on. That's right. And um, I, I do it with Marina because um, she always knows to play the piano. She has had already lessons. She is not a beginner. She wants straight. She wants something special. She wants to know how to. Uh, accompany um, songs, and so she she gets some uh, advices from me, like uh, also in music theory, and she knows how to move with the hands already. So it's easy to do. I uh, up to now I wouldn't I I don't have any experience with this medium with beginners with real beginners, um, so I can't say anything about it. But um, I know that students of me uh, come with, uh, they, they uh, listen to tutorials or uh, watch tutorials of YouTube and they, well, some of them do that pretty good. Yeah, they, they, they uh, play songs, but uh, the hand lessons, you know, the, the, uh, the technique of piano playing, they have from me <laughs> live. You know, this is the difference, I think. I, I think this, uh, Tutorials can be very good to people with people who who are already playing, but to learn playing from the basics, I'm, I doubt that. To be honest, I also would like to share, and I would like first of all to thank you for you know for sharing these great um, advices and techniques. I'm also um, learned to play guitar by myself, sort of mm -hmm. before there was YouTube and the other resources just um, um, stands around, I don't know, like 20 years ago uh, with uh, summer with some of my friends and then in the project. And after that, I received a, as a gift a guitar and started playing. Now, exactly, there are so many opportunities like YouTube. Uh, I personally would like to share also, uh, there, is, there are uh, softwares on, online, not uh, the programs, uh, that you could uh, buy um, and uh, relatively uh, cheap that could be if you play like a guitar especially you could connect it to the um, to your computer and it gives you feedback so mm -hmm. um, exact I mean uh, it's definitely in, in my case I think I would be um, playing much better and faster if I had uh, lessons at the beginning because there is nothing uh, that can replace this uh, uh, interaction between um, 
teacher and pupil, uh, but still in the busy lifestyle, there are other options and it's great. And uh, mm -hmm. even if we, like I'm talking about myself, like pick up a guitar once in a while, just maybe like five, 10 minutes and you just play, I don't know, like not specially like a song, but something that uh, helps you to think, it's, it's great. So, and also another fact that I wanted to, to, to mention that it's proven that people that play um, musical instruments, they um, have a, a better ability to process uh, information and it helps actually in uh, making decisions and taking mm -hmm. decisions. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, I completely agree, Colleen and Andre and Melanie. And I would just uh, say, I believe that all possible ways are acceptable and they con uh, can strong us all to, how to say, to, to play. Just to play something, uh, uh, it's always, it's, it's very well if we have some, maybe some musician groups or if you dreamed with Colleen and Brian to have a, a clavier or a piano at Moldova office, like where people can play in the break, just to, to give like uh, some real new options or just to integrate music in our like working days. Yes, yeah, something mm -hmm. I, I definitely it will be very helpful or, and just to be integrated at some groups. I think it's amazing that Andre is uh, he's speaking from Kiev, from Ukraine, and mm -hmm. just uh, to have like something like how to say uh, online band, yes, from Hamburg, Ukraine, mm -hmm. Zurich, or Tbilisi, yes, Tyler, because it's something it should be. I would say also the teacher is great, but uh, additional, it should be some project and something like to have fun together and something maybe some interesting topic to develop and we are trying to do it like develop it in Zurich yes with uh, mm -hmm. some of our groups because it's like like integration in any project if you speak about finance and you can parallel to play uh, on piano I, I think this is like additional plus yes to your product yes and maybe it's end with uh, FinTech Bulletin, so Brian, yes, Andre, maybe if you can just integrate it and uh, Melanie, if you, you know, like Andre is professional uh, poet and zinger and at the same time the best translator from Russian to English or from English to Russia, like the best writer. And even mm -hmm. if it's possible to make some products in the frame of our company, something that the people can um, maybe to to bring together like to have also fun with painting or music and at the same time like to do uh, consulting this is something what what we are trying to test and to uh, prop as well as Tyler and Colleen you you have motivated with this Toastmasters group it's like rhetoric how professional to speak and so and this is completely public non-commercial clubs in Moldova and Georgia and something uh, if we can even similar to do like uh, even if we have like once a year something like call like this to share some what, what's news what's the uh, tips or find some teachers and what you for your instruments it could be a very interesting can be easy to have this musician line yes mm -hmm. something and maybe we can i didn't know my dream is to have a hall or something to play together some uh, Kalin also we spoke a lot about learning french and we have some some bands now in Germany. They they really song uh, French chanson, and maybe we can also learn one or just to connect to some activities so other people maybe to get some tips or ideas, and maybe we can really uh, learn French and at the same time playing our instruments and uh, just something. This is about like something integrational something like new products and creative products that can help us also emotionally, not just only one side or how to say, the similar work, yes, what we usually do all at offices. This is the main idea. And I'm very happy that Melanie will be visit us in Zurich next week. Mm -hmm. And Melanie help uh, us, Michael and me, to develop these ideas also for VC, for us personal as a family. And at the same time for VC, and we have also some other musicians in Zurich and Andrea is very active in Kiev with his band and maybe we can, maybe Tyler, you have professional music in, in Georgia, right? It was amazing video. And um, I would suggest 
Uh, Andrei, thank you for sharing these links. Maybe we will prepare some follow-up later after this call and put there these like, links from Andrei, from uh, Belisi, just from musician, from uh, for friends who, is, who said, okay, we are like friends and at the same time we will think something to do together and maybe just to summarize all in uh, one follow-up email, but also, for example, Melanie or others will get all the information about like who is who in this group and activities and maybe let's see in summer or in uh, uh, autumn maybe it will come new ideas new projects with BC on the conference maybe we can do something creative and interesting yes it takes time but i'm so happy that uh, who used to be at this call really has interest in playing music his experience in it and uh, maybe it will be something interesting new product also like win win situation for professional musicians and also for office workers yes for for editor and uh, like people who like to write writing the most people here will love writing but something to have expression in music or in something like parallel languages as a musician language yes <laughs> So I believe that usually we have a format for 30 minutes just to really save time. Yemeni, do you want to comment or then just to... Well, uh, I, I just want to say thank you for the invite invitation. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. And I think it's a good idea and I'm very curious um, what grows out of it. <laughs> It, uh, it will indeed be interesting to see what happens as a result of this. I'm glad to see that there's other people involved in the company that enjoy music and have a passion for it. As Colleen mentioned earlier, um, you know, learning music helps develop other skills, thinking skills, and, and helps in other aspects of our life and can be very beneficial in, in multiple ways. Even if we're not the greatest at playing, um, it does help us in, a, in those other aspects. Um, so I'm interested to see if we're going to come up with a BFC rock band or a BFC symphony at some point in the future. It would be absolutely fantastic. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens, but uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll get some information presented and get an email sent out um, some point in the next couple of days uh, with everything for everybody. And um, we'll, we'll and continue to make connections and do the good work that that needs to be done about spreading good information. I just want to remind you all once again to check out bfc.green for other information, um, not just related to music, but other life enriching topics. Uh, you can also check out the iShare Facebook group, um, which is the link can be found on the BFC Green website or in the email uh, for the invite that was sent to you. Um, just to encourage you to use those resources and share your thoughts and opinions, ideas. We really want to make this a community, a strong community. We're, we know we're a strong community at BFC and at BFC Green. Um, we just want to make it even stronger and demonstrate to the world what the power of community can do. So until right. next time, uh, we're looking forward to, to seeing you again, and we hope you have a fantastic week.